these next videos I'm going to split up into two sections. The first one's going to be top down games, and the other one's going to be platform. These videos are going to focus on a platforming game. So if you're looking at creating a platforming game, please follow along with these. If not, have a look at the top down games if you're more interested in creating that style of game. So with a platform game, before we can even get our character to move, we need our character to be able to rest on a particular object called a platform. Now, a platform is any solid object the player can stand on. So this is really important before we program our character to move as a platform style game that we give it something to land on first. So I'm going to right click, insert a new object, and I'm going to scroll down to Sprite. I'm going to name this platform and press insert, click where it's going to be. Now I'm going to turn off the grid for this because I'm not going to focus too much on pixel art anymore. And I want just a simple bit of ground for the player to stand on. So we'll go for a green background. And then I also want to find maybe a brownish color. And I'm going to add this in underneath. And I'm just going to use the paintbrush to make this look a bit more natural and not as square. Like so. And we'll add a little bit more green in, slightly darker this time, to be the top of the grass. So this is my little grass sort of sprite. It's not the best, but we'll just press X on that. Now we can then take this block and we can then just move this across. Now when I move it across, it's going to stretch this image out. So just be careful with this, that if you want this image not to be stretched, either make the platform bigger to begin with. You can create this as a tiled background, which means that it will duplicate itself, or you can just resize this to begin with. So now I've got this here, I also want to right click on it, and I want to add something called a behavior. Now behaviors are something that's really, really powerful construct. It allows you to add properties to an object without having to do any programming. So there's a big list of them here. We're going to be looking at some of the main ones, but the one that we want for our platform is called solid. So we press that, we press add, and that's it. We've got our platform created. Once we program our player, our player will land on this platform. It will not fall through it. I'm also just going to move this slightly across. So in the next video, you can see what happens if our player does fall off the platform.